And so it's having been born again, not of corruptible seed, but incorruptible, through the word of God, which lives and abides forever. And so we see here that, the, that we are saved. The reason we have salvation is, be, is because something called an incorruptible seed, which was the word of God, was put into our hearts through our ears. And because we believed it, we no longer have to fear death and destruction, but we have life forever. We have life eternal. Through what? Through a word. Through the seed that has been planted. The incorruptible seed. And so because of a seed of the word of God, because we believed it, it changed our whole eternal destiny. It's good news. It's good news. And so the problem is, is that many believers have latched onto that, but they don't receive the other seeds that he's meant for this life here on earth. Many believers have latched onto this eternal salvation, and they should. And how many of you are grateful for that seed? That's a big one. Okay? We need that seed. But how many of you guys know he has a lot of other seeds for your life? And so he's saying, I have seeds for your life. I have seeds for your life. And so while many believers may have their eternal life on track, many believers have a hard time getting their marriage on track. They have a hard time getting their financial life in track. They have a hard time getting their health in balance, right? There's all these other things that are happening in life, and he's saying, I've got a seed for that. I have a seed for that. And he's saying, let me plant that seed into your heart through your ears. And when it's planted, if you believe it, if you remain in it, if you abide in it, if you stay with it, it's going to grow and flourish, and it will bear fruit. And it will do the very thing that I've sent it to do. See, this is the life of the believer. And so Jesus is saying, the seed that you've received, all those other seeds that I have for your life, it happens the same way as the one that you receive for eternal life. Get the word in your heart. You've got to get that incorruptible seed on the inside concerning your life and allow it to change you from death and destruction to life and fruitfulness. 